I look, just looked up homes for sale in Smyrna, Delaware. I didn't even put a price on it. I just wanted to see no senior communities, no new construction. There were only 38 listings. And of those 38 listings, I would say only a handful were ones that were probably going to sell fairly quickly. The other ones, I can understand why they're still on the market. <laughs> so today, I'm going to show you three homes that I think will sell fairly quickly in this market. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. I'm a local Delaware real estate agent that basically covers the entire state because we are so small. So whether you're looking to buy or sell in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description. So please feel free to send me an email. All right. So like I just said, I was really, really surprised by this. I really thought that there was going to be more on the market. And I'm like, I'm really, there's just not, there's just not a lot on the market. So if you are a seller in Smyrna that is looking to sell your property, I can tell you right now that there is not a lot of competition. So yes, it is a great time to sell your house. <laughs> all right. So let's look uh, these are all single family homes, all listed in Smyrna, Delaware. I did not put a a price on this. I just wanted to see what was available. There's no senior communities and no new construction in this video. And let's take a look at what we found. All right. So the first one is listed for $584,500. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 3,134 square feet built in 2004. It does have a basement and this one is in West Shore phase one. And this one has an HOA fee of $250 annually. And you're in luck because the sellers are now offering $10,000 towards the buyer's concessions for the basement or whatever else they would like to use it for. So if you are short on cash for closing costs, you could use it for $10,000 towards that. You could use it for $10,000 towards your down payment. You could use it for buying down your um, interest rate. There is many possibilities or you could use it for the basement or anything else like that. It does say that there is a current VA mortgage is potentially assumable at 2.75%. So if you are currently a veteran or you are currently active in the military, um, and you are able to use a VA loan, you may be able to assume the 2.75% mortgage. And if that is the case, then you could take that $10,000 and put it towards either your closing costs, because you're still going to have closing costs with a VA loan, or you could put it towards maybe buying furniture after closing. All right, so let's take a look inside. All right. So what I'm seeing is, is that this one actually backs up to like a small pond, as, as you can see right here. I guess it, I guess it would be like a, it's not really, a, it's not really a pond. It's more of like a canal. That's basically what I would call it. <laughs> um, it does have a two car garage. And like I said, it's almost like you have water, waterfront, I guess, waterfront property, but it is right off of Lake Como essentially in Smyrna. So this particular neighborhood, you are close to Carter Road. So you are close to doctor's offices. You can get to Route 13 and Route 1 fairly quickly. Um, you are close to the emergency room in Smyrna. You, you're close to the Acme. I mean, the painted stave if you're looking for like a beverage, brickworks. I mean, there's many different possibilities with this particular home. All right. So... As you can see, it kind of looks like it's on a, like a bend a little bit. Um, but if you are someone that maybe likes to fish, likes to kayak, or you like to like the paddle boats, this will be the perfect home for you. And it does have a deck off the back as well as we can see now that is a raised deck. So it does look like the backyard is, is on some like kind of like a slope essentially. Um, but there's plenty of room for entertainment space. This does look like it is a flat area. So if you, I mean, this would be honestly perfect for like a slip and slide <laughs> or sledding, but just don't make sure like, hopefully there's like some kind of barrier where you don't end up in, you know, 
this little canal thing. But it does have a fenced in backyard from what I can see. Mature trees. It's a fairly tall house. So yeah, this kind of gives you a better idea. Now, keep in mind, we are actually going through a little bit of a drought right now in Delaware. So this is normally like the water is normally like right here. You don't need flood insurance. Please do not worry. You do not need flood insurance. Um, It's just you are closer to water. It doesn't even look like the water is coming. It's not. It's very shallow right now. And the reason is, is because we haven't had any rain. <laughs> so it does look like you were, um, I don't see a divider between your neighbor's yard. So you might want to end up putting like some kind of fence right here, especially if, if you have dogs and you don't want them going over to the neighbor's yard, much like how you have it right here. Um, I would just probably put a divider in here. And this, this is the house right here. So this is Carter Road. So here is the entrance to get out to the neighbor out of the neighborhood right here so you can go this way to route 13 or route one or you could go this way to go more into like smyrna clayton area Alrighty, it's giving you all the angles and wants to make sure you see everything so this one does not have a little bit of an overhang over the front door so just keep that in mind if you have guests coming over and it is raining I know we talk about that mostly in all of my videos I do like the fact that we have a mixture of vinyl siding and this brick right here so it kind of breaks it up a little bit and we do have a little bit of a metal roof over the garage uh, but it does look like architectural shingles uh, for the roof all right let's see if we can get to inside all right here we go All right, so it does look like these are almost like brand new hardwood floors. So it doesn't even look like they've been really touched. Um, so we have hardwood floors. We have a two-story foyer area. We have the dining room to the right of the front door. Lots of natural light coming in this ha home, as you can see from this window and also from the doors. Then off to the left of the front door, we have the... Like, I guess it could be used as either a formal living room, an office, a playroom. There's many different possibilities with this particular um, room. And then across from the playroom area, they are they have it set up as a dining room. Now, as you can see, there are two different entrances to get to either. I think this is a powder room or this is the living room. So it kind of gives you very open but still has separated spaces, which I really like. Then we have the dining room area right here. Lots of natural light coming in this and the hardwood floors go throughout that area as well. And then it does look like it has an entrance to, I think, the kitchen. We're going to see, but it might have an entrance to the kitchen. This is most likely the basement door, and it does have a little cat door. <laughs> so it does look like a cat has lived here. That gives you another angle. Then we have an office area, which could... I'm not sure if it could be, it depends if there's a closet in here, but it could be set up as a bedroom or I would prop, if I didn't work from home, I would say this would probably be set up as a playroom just because you'd be able to shut the door. Um, and I'd probably put my office up here. Or if you want to set this up as like a formal living room or even like just like a little separate hangout room, I would set this up as an office as well. It does have a two-story living room with a catwalk, which we know how I feel about the catwalk. I love, love, love the catwalk. So this is the dining room right there. So that, that uh, entrance that we just saw is actually going into the living room as well. So we have an entrance here to the playroom. And then this was coming from the foyer area. So definitely very open, inviting, lots of natural light. We do have a ceiling fan. It has recessed lights in the living room. 
plenty of room for like artwork. Honestly, you could probably open up this wall even more instead of just like this opening here um, and kind of just open this up a little bit. But plenty of like wall space for pictures or art or really, I mean, you could probably put like a projector up here, honestly. Like the walls seem very, very <laughs> tall and kind of bare right now. Yeah, so I, depending on what's on the other side of this wall, I would probably back this up slightly, uh, like meaning like open this up so that we could just make this a little bit more open to the kitchen. Then we do have a fireplace. That's the focal point. And it does look like, can you get to, okay, no. So just one side has the stairs. Yeah, so this is to the basement. That gives you another idea. This is off of the catwalk. This is looking, overlooking that into the living room. Once again, we do have those same hardwood floors in the living room. And this living room looks like it's big enough to fit a sectional. You could do a couch and a love seat like they have it set up. You could do a recliner. Many different possibilities with furniture placement in this particular room. Then we have the kitchen. Okay, so maybe we can't open that up because it does look like there's cabinets on the other side. So we have stainless steel appliances. It does have an eating kitchen area with um, a chandelier. We have recessed lights in the kitchen. It does look like it is an older oak, but I personally think that these can be painted um, and you can switch out the, the hardware and really you could update this kitchen slightly. It does look like it has granite countertops. It does have a pantry right here, an island that has enough room for two bar stools. And like I said, I really think that you could update this kitchen with a little bit of paint um, and it does have a backsplash already done for you. And that kind of gives you uh, the idea. So this is that this is overlooking the um, living room area. We have the microwave over top of the electric cooktop stove. Um, there's a little desk here, which I know that's a little outdated. A lot of people don't add that in anymore. It does look like the fridge is new, though. I wonder if the fridge is like one of those smart fridges where you can take a, you can like literally tap into your fridge and find out what's in it while you're at the grocery store. I need that so bad. Like that is definitely my next fridge because I can't remember anything. <laughs> then we have double oven right here in the stove area. It does have a slider to go out to the back, which I'm assuming goes to that back deck that we saw. That is, this is the eating kitchen area. And then right off of the eating kitchen area, we have the laundry room, which, and this is probably the uh, door to the garage as well. Lots of natural light coming in these windows. I will say there seems to be a lot of natural light in this home. We do have carpet on the stairs, which then goes to hardwood floors in the hallway upstairs. This is that catwalk that we just saw. I really, really like this upstairs. Very bright, open, inviting, lots of natural light. They want you to be able to see every single angle. <laughs> All right, so this is coming into the primary suite. It does have tray ceilings with upgraded tray ceilings. It has a ceiling fan. Harbor floors in here as well. It looks like it is a very large uh, primary suite. Plenty of room for a king size bed with two dressers on each side. You can put dresser here. There is a closet right here. That's your walk in closet. You can put a dresser here. You could, I really like this bench right here, actually. You could put a dresser on the other side, like they have it right here as you can see. So you have double doors coming in here. Here's that walk-in closet. And then this is the bathroom. 
And as you can see, they put a dresser here as well. All right, so coming into the primary bathroom, we have double sink vanity. I do think I do think it needs to be slightly updated, whether it be that you frame the mirror, switch out the light fixture, paint the vanity. It does have a garden tub and a stall shower, as you can see in the mirror right here. Oh, and they took a picture of it. And then this is the garden tub. And then this is bedroom number two. This actually looks like it's a king size bed. If not, it's a very large queen size bed. It already has a ceiling fan in there. Harbor floors in this bedroom as well. Then we have an, the fourth, either the fourth bedroom. I don't know if they're counting the one downstairs. Hold on, let me see. Oh, no, this is, yeah, this is the third bedroom. They are not counting the one downstairs. So that one must not have a closet. That is strictly like an office space or a playroom space. This one also has that same ceiling fan and harbor floors in it. And then this is bedroom number four, same ceiling fan. And then we have the harbor floors in here as well. All the bedrooms look like they're very decently sized with at least a full, if not queen size beds in all of them. We have the hallway bath with an upgraded vanity mirror and light fixture. And it does from this angle look like we have maybe tile or something that looks like tile. Here's another picture of the laundry room. I do have these same washer and dryer in the same color. I will highly recommend them. I really like my washer and dryer. And then we do have an unfinished basement. So when they said that they were giving you $10,000 towards your, the basement, it was $10,000 to finish the basement if you wanted to finish it or keep it the way it is. Like I said, put it towards closing costs, put it towards down payment. There's many different possibilities. It does look like it already has a rough in three piece rough in right here. So if you wanted to add a future bathroom, it's right there. It does have a mop sink down here, a French door to go out to the backyard already has full size windows down here. So you really just need to bring your studs and drywall. I think it already looks like it's insulated. And you could have a, another living space down here with a bathroom. We have, this is that deck. I really like this deck, actually. It doesn't look like it is, doesn't look like Trex. I'm not sure if it is Trex. It does look like it has a gate right here. So if you have small children and do not want them to go off the gate or even animals, that, okay, yeah, it's definitely wood. Has an awning that goes over top of this back deck. Look at the view. This is really, really nice. Nice little view area. This is the stairs to go down to the backyard. Okay, so I was a little wrong. It does not look like the backyard is in, on as much of a hill as I thought it was. And there is a fence right here. So even if you do want to go to do a slip and slide, you're not going to go into this little canal area. <laughs> but like I said, I would probably add a divider in from the neighbor so this way your animals are not running on their yard. It does have a mature tree in the front yard as well. Looks like the grass has been well taken care of. Like I said, lots of windows in this home. It does need a little bit of a power wash though. And then as you can see, they've put some landscaping in to kind of block that area. Give you a little bit of privacy. I'm sure these bushes grow up pretty tall. You could maybe put something around here where you could put your kayak and stuff like that. So this way you could go right into the canal if you wanted to. Or if you have like a small boat, I believe you can have a small boat in here. Um... But right now, I think you would probably hit bottom because it's pretty shallow. All right. So like I said, that one is listed for $584,500. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 3,134 square feet built in 2004. All right. So the next one is listed for 709,000 is a five bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 3,143 square feet. That's crazy. It's the same square footage as the last one. <laughs> 
<laughs> like down to the 43. And it was built in two, I'm sorry, 1999. And it has a basement. There is an HOA fee of $125 annually. This is in Northridge. This one sits on 1.1 acres. So that's why I'm seeing the um, price, if that's what you were wondering. All right. So let's take a look. This one does have a really cute front porch. So cute. Okay. We have a front porch. We have a mixture of vinyl siding and the brick it does have green shutters. It has a walkway, which looks how oh, the front has brick and then the back. Oh, wow. The back has, so it's a side car entry side garage. I'm sorry. Entry. And then it has a side like a sidewalk essentially like that wraps around and it has this beautiful brick like patio deck area type thing. It's not really a deck cause that would be wood, but like, like pavers almost with pillars and railing and, Ooh, I can't wait to see this. Okay. It has landscaping around the home completely it looks like the brick has been well taken care of if like it probably was just power washed. Honestly, I would put a couple rocking chairs out here, like maybe a little bench. This would be so cute. Can you imagine decorating this for all of the holidays? You have this railing, you have these pillars right here. You can put big planners right here. Oh, this is so cute. The front door could be painted if you don't like this color. You could always switch out the color to black shutters if you are more into that instead of the green. Look at this patio. Oh, and it has these big windows with this sunroom right here. Ooh, it does look like it is a three zone system. Just keep that in mind. It does, it does have Bilco doors as well and a skylight. Architectural shingles mature bushes right here. I really, really like this patio. This is really, really nice. Look at these big windows and doors. I wonder if these all open up. I feel like they do based off of what I'm seeing. All of the natural light. Oh, these probably come. I wonder if these open and then these come over. It looks like it based off of what I can see. Then we have this like sunroom area with a slider that also comes out to this patio. So, oh, wow. Look at, th and then you have, it's a flat, oh my gosh. And it sits on 1.1 acre. So nice. And you're surrounded by mature trees, lots of privacy. You have hardwood floors. So you're coming in the uh, foyer. You're going to have the stairs to, I guess it would be like the left almost. Then you're going to have a dining room area. It looks like with a chair rail. I would assume just based off these pictures, these might be Anderson windows, but based off of this, I really, I mean, I can, I would assume at this point, but we'd have to see. Then we have, this is the upstairs. So you come in the front door, you have the dining room area off to the right. You can come straight through. You can see the patio straight from the front door, which is really, really nice. We have this sunroom area, which you can close this off if you wanted to make this into your office. Can you imagine hanging out here every day with lots of natural light and this view, lots of privacy this is so nice. I love this. I love all the natural light in this home. This is right off of the kitchen area. So it's an eating kitchen area separate from the dining room. Then you have this kitchen, which has an island. It has your cooktop in the island, a dishwasher. You have your granite countertops. You have a sink right over the window, a very large window. You have a pot rack already hanging for you double oven. You have a little bit of a peninsula right here. So you could put like probably three bar stools. And then that is the sunroom is right off of the kitchen area. 
This is the living room area with those doors and windows that we just talked about. So lots of natural light and you have like a really nice view. Look how much, like look how bright this living room is. It's totally what I'm lacking in my house. <laughs> Looks like this is brand new carpet, like just installed. I'm going to say this is bedroom number one. I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume it does have the taller ceilings with the ceiling fan. And then that's another look at the bedroom. It does have a walk-in closet. Bedroom number two. Wait, is that the same bedroom? Yeah, no, that's not the same bedroom. So bedroom number two does have a ceiling light. Uh, I'm not sure if that would be able to hold a ceiling fan though. I think this is bedroom number three, just based off of the window changes. Same light fixture. I think this is another bedroom, but I'm not sure. Different light fixture. So this house, as you can see, is vacant. It does look like the uh, carpets are brand new, though. This one does need to be stretched based off of what I can say. I think I've lost count of how many bedrooms we're at, but at least you can see all these different rooms. Sorry, I don't know if these are bed. I think this is a bedroom. Maybe this might be a storage area. This is the basement. It does have what looks like a real fireplace. This would be so cute for Christmas. You could have your stockings here. You could put a tree. I mean, this place really does have enough room for like at least 10 trees. I, I, from what I can say, you could put a tree here. You could put a tree here. You could put a pool table here or eliminate that. Sec I mean, this is just like a wide open space. You could do sectional. You could do a bar area over here if you wanted to. It has a downstairs bathroom and it looks like a full bath. From what I can see, I think. Nope, this might be the primary. Double sink vanity with a shower tub. No, I'm sorry. This is the primary. That was that hallway bath. This is the primary. Double sink vanity with a garden tub and a tile shower with a rain head. We have the washer and dryer area with a built-in mop sink. And then here's a look of the property and what it looks like. So pretty private. I mean, you have these people right here, but you could always put in some fast growing trees right here to really make it into like privacy. I really like this. It sits on 1.1 acre in Smyrna. Plenty of room with a full basement that is finished with a gorgeous fireplace. This is so nice. Yeah. Who wants to go see this one? I am 100% on board to go see this one. All right. So like I said, this one is listed for $709,000. A five bedroom, two and a half bath. It is 3,143 square feet. Sits on 1.1 acres. All right. So the last one is listed for $480,000. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It is 2,308 square feet. Built in 2004, does have a basement. It has an HOA fee of $150 annually, and this one is in Bombay Woods. This one sits on 0.16 acres. So it looks like this one comes with a garage cover. So if you like to hang out in the garage, I've had a couple clients that love to do that. Um, it already has this screen set up for you, so you don't have to worry about the bugs. All right, so we do have a small front porch, which looks like they already have at least two chairs right here. It's a little hangout spot. You can people watch or just hang out and enjoy, enjoy your morning coffee. The front door does sit back slightly, so um, it's going to be a little difficult to um, put any planners right next to the front door. It would be more on the porch area. Okay, so then coming in the front door, we have the dining room area is off to your right. I really like their table. Um, it, lots of natural light because you have one, two, three, four windows. 
you have a good size table right here. Good size table, plenty of room. They have plenty of plants around. So, and it does have hardwood floors in the dining room area. And it seems like the foyer area as well. Coming in, we have the kitchen. It has white cabinets, stainless steel appliances. It has a built-in, I guess, like wine fridge. It does have the uh, backsplash already done for you. And it looks like it matches the granite countertop. So kind of like just, it's almost like a waterfall type of thing. It's a little busy in my opinion, but. Um, it does have recessed lights in the kitchen area, and it looks like this is the pantry. Right off the family room, I'm sorry, right off the kitchen, we have the family room. Now, it does look like this would be a little tight with a sectional, so I'd probably switch this out for maybe a couch and a love seat or a couch and a recliner. We have the fireplace here. If you do have a larger TV, just know that it might not fit over top of the fireplace. We have the laundry room, which already has the shelf for you. This is the primary bedroom. Now keep in mind, this is a very, very large bed, very large bed. So, which means, you know, you, you might, um, you probably have a smaller bed. <laughs> So it's going to take up, this one's taking up a large part, por, like portion of the room. So it does look like it is a king size bed. You could put a, a nightstands on each side of the bed as they have it. And then you still have enough room for a dresser. Now keep in mind, your, your bed's probably not going to stick out as far as this one is. So you will have a little bit more room in here. Plenty of natural light. It does have a light, a ceiling fan. I'm sorry, a ceiling light already in the ceiling. I'm not sure if that would be able to hold a ceiling fan though. And then we do have your walk-in closet right here. And then that's a look at the, what the walk-in closet looks like. We do have the primary bath. It has double sink vanity. Um, and it does have a garden tub and a stall shower, which you can see right here. It looks like they really like their plants. <laughs> I see plants everywhere. We have bedroom number two, which they have bunk beds in. So keep in mind, this would not be as big if you just had one child in this room. So this one, this one has a ceiling light. I'm not sure if that could hold a ceiling fan. We have bedroom number three, which looks like it's most likely a queen size bed. It does have a ceiling fan and then plenty of room for dressers. The hall bath, which has the tub and it has the shower combo. And then this is the basement. It is finished. So this could be another entertainment space or a gym area, or it could be a playroom for the kids. I've seen people turn it into like a downstairs office or just if you're you have a side hustle, you can run that out of your basement. And then this is part of the basement that they've turned into like a living room area. It does have the egress window right here. And I do like this little accent wall they did. And then this is another look at what the basement looks like. Here are the stairs right here. Now they did set it up as a basement office. Like I just said, you could do a side hustle. You can work out of the basement. I mean, there's definitely lots of possibilities. And then the basement does have a full bathroom. So maybe you have an older child that is staying with you, an in-law or family that's staying with you. They can always hang out in the basement and they already have a full bathroom. And this is another look at another room down in the basement. Off the back of the house, they have a heated and and air conditioned sunroom with a ceiling fan, skylights. You can open up all of these windows and doors. This would be really, really fun in the summer. And even honestly, like now when it's almost 80 degrees in October, <laughs> off of the sunroom, it does have a Trex deck, good amount of space for plenty of patio furniture. And then it does have a shed. And that's another look at what the backyard looks like. Looks like good landscaping. It is almost fence. There, there's no fence right here, but I, I'm sure that you could always add fence if you needed to. Yeah. So I would just add a little fence here. It just doesn't look like it's actually matches the rest of it. So you could probably 
get the same fence on either side and make it a true fenced in backyard. All right. So like I said, that one is listed for $480,000. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It is 2,308 square feet. All right. So there you have it. There are three different properties, all single family homes, all listed in Smyrna right now. If you are interested in seeing any of these homes or any of the other homes in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. My information is down below in the description, so please feel free to send me an email. If there is a specific area in Delaware that you are looking to see what's on the market, please comment down below. I try and make videos based off of what you're asking for. I had someone request videos that weren't 55 plus, so I've been trying to bring you those. Uh, I really hope these video helps. If they do, like I said, be able to give me a thumbs up, be able to subscribe to the channel. If you are a buyer or a seller in Delaware, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help you. And like I said, if you are looking to sell your property in Smyrna, there is not much on the market, so you will not have a lot of competition. Well, like I said, I hope you really like this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Hey, if you are thinking about moving to Delaware, you should definitely check out this video right here. And if you would love to tour Delaware communities with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.